Hello everyone. So last month I attended the launch for the Procter and Gamble Beauty United Ambassador Program. So the Beauty United program is basically a network, a community of 30 Canadian beauty bloggers from across Canada, including myself. Their official launch party was last month. It was at the end of August, and I had such an amazing time that I wanted to just quickly share my experience with you guys. So first of all, the event was hosted in downtown Toronto at the Trump Hotel. And and if you have ever been there or see pictures of it, it is a very luxurious hotel. I mean, everything about it is just very, very luxe. Um, so it was really fun to have the event hosted there because it was just a really great atmosphere. Apparently the Trump Hotel has their own chocolatier, so there was this huge long table of just chocolates of different kinds of desserts and treats, and um, instantly I like beeline for that table because there were so many, so many delicious items on there. Aside from the food and the drinks, which were amazing, um, there were so many amazing Canadian beauty bloggers there, like I said, from across the country. Um, I got to meet so many people that I had never met before or I had just known over like social media or just via their blog so that was that's always really fun because I mean I'm sure a lot of you can relate in the sense that um, you feel like you get to know a person like if you're reading their blog or you're watching their videos and just to actually meet them in person it's like making a new friend that you kind of already felt you had by reading their blog and watching their videos I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, like I said, I got to meet so many wonderful people. Um, I met Amy from The Pretty Vein. She is so lovely in person, and like when I saw her across the room, I don't know, I feel like we instantly connected. I also met Jerry from P Bunny P there, and I was so excited to meet her. Um, she lives all the way on the West Coast, so she lives in BC, and she was originally planning on being in town that week because she had a family wedding to attend. And we were initially going to get together that week to just get some tea or coffee or just talk um, but I had to message her and say that I couldn't make it because I wasn't going to be in town that week and then my schedule just kind of aligned up and I ended up being in town on that Monday night which happened to be the Beauty United event and I went and I wasn't expecting to see her at all there anyway so she walked in and I was just like so ecstatic to meet her just because I mean I love her blog and I love her videos prior to that I was pretty bummed that I didn't think I would meet her um, because she lives so far away. I was like, when am I going to get the opportunity to meet her again? Um, so I was so happy that everything just kind of worked out and it was just so fun to meet her and talk to her and she's such an amazing, wonderful person. And um, yeah, I think I'm having like a fangirl moment at the moment. Um, but I also met Elaine from Toronto Beauty Reviews. Um, I was so excited to like meet her in person. Um, Krista from Perilously Pale, who I I met before, but it was nice seeing her again. I met Esther, aka Rosilla, um, Crystal from Crystal Candy Makeup, uh, Rika from the Office Chic blog, Tess from Makeup by Tess. Um, who else did I meet? I should have done this video sooner when everything was still fresh in my mind. Um, Emily from This Was Forever. There was Michelle from A Lovely Allure. Dee from Liner Glitter, Liner Glitter and Gloss. Sorry. Um, who else? Who else? Oh, Steph from Fun Size Beauty, Andy from Make Me Over Andy. There was also Jen from Procrastinating Pretty who was also hosting and I'm certain I'm forgetting a whole bunch of people because I probably only named like 12 out of the 29 other attendees. Anyway, there were amazing people there, amazing Canadian beauty bloggers. Um, I was just so happy to be there and to meet everyone and get to talk to everyone. So the event basically had two areas. The first area was just kind of like an open space. It was kind of like the lounge area um, where they were serving appetizers and like the dessert table and um, drinks. And there was also like a photo booth area where you could take pictures and also a vlog area where you could um, make like a little vlog talking about the experience at the event and all that stuff. So it was really fun. I did do a vlog with my girl Amy from The Pretty Vein and um, if you want to see 
the whole video. I will link it below. It was so funny. The vlogging station was just kind of in the corner of the room, so there was like all these people around and um, the cameraman and you're holding a microphone and um, you don't really know what you're going to say, so you just kind of just talk and it was kind of nerve-wracking but at the same time really fun. Um, so me and Amy were talking about our lip combinations for that evening, so if you want to check that video out, I'll link it below. I do this really weird like hair flip thing which I didn't know I did in person. I, I like watching it back it was really funny because I was like what the heck is that girl doing with her hair? It was so like it kind of looks very unnatural when you're looking at it because I'm just like Whoa. Um, anyway, so you can check that out if you would like. So the, in the other room, that's where the presentations were. And it's basically a room, there's chairs in the middle where everyone could sit. And all around the room, there was tables of different brands and different products. And there's also like brand representatives. Um, the presentations were really interesting. They had a couple PNG scientists talking about um, color theory, about um, ingredient testing and parabens. So it was all really fascinating. Um, they also had uh, makeup artists artists and hairstylists come in to demonstrate fall trends for 2013. Overall, it was just an amazing night of learning new things. It was very educational, very informative, and also very casual because you got to like just talk with all these other Canadian beauty vloggers. Okay, so I also wanted to share with you guys what I received in the goodie bags. So they were really generous with their goodie bags. They gave out two big bags that look like this. So it has the Beauty United logo there. Um, so all the products um, that I received are from Procter & Gamble. So if you're not familiar with the different brands that they house, um, they house CoverGirl, um, what am I looking at here, Pantene, Olay, um, Crest, Herbal Essences. Uh, so they have a whole bunch of different brands. So I wanted to just quickly share them with you. In no particular order, um, we got um, some Pantene shampoo and conditioner. This is the Smooth line and um, I really love Pantene shampoos and conditioner. Um, I find that they work best on my hair in the winter though. I just feel like they're really, really nourishing and because in the winter my hair gets pretty, pretty dry and brittle. There's also this um, Gillette Satin Care with a touch of Olay shaving cream in here and also a secret deodorant. I also received some razors, but since I don't shave my legs, I just gave them to someone else, um, which I probably will end up giving away this shaving cream to someone else too because um, I don't shave my legs. <laughs> there was this Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Eye Cream and Lash Serum Duo. This is supposed to be really nice. The cream is you're supposed to be able to use on your eyelid and it's supposed to also act as a primer. And then the um, lash serum, it's just supposed to kind of help build up your lashes. They also gave the Olay CC Cream, which I actually already have in the same shade. It was light to medium. There was also the Crest White Strip. So this one is the Advanced Seal. I really, really love this one. This is the one that's 30 minutes a day for 30 days. I have never used them consecutively. Um, I had my teeth whitened years ago and then basically I just use Crest White Strips as um, just as a touch up I guess once a month or maybe twice a month um, so I don't use them consecutively but they do work really well um, and they also gave us the samples of the professional effects which I think is like the two hour whitening system so I'm pretty excited I guess to try that because I've never tried that one before. There was also the Herbal Essences Moroccan My Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. There is the Clairol Born Blonde Nice and Easy Hair Care Coloring System. Um, I probably won't use this because I, I'm i always just too scared to color my hair. I just kind of like it the way it is. Um, so I'll probably give this away to, to somebody, if not maybe do a giveaway or something like that. There's also this hair serum from Pantene. So this is from the same line as the shampoo and conditioners from the Smooth line. And this is serum with argan oil from Morocco. So I guess this is just kind of like a frizz tamer. There are some Vidal Sassoon products. So this is from their Pro Series. This one is the Foaming Air Mousse. So this is like a volumizer. This one is a hairspray and it's the repair and finish helps repair signs of damaged hair. And this one is a spray, it's for color protection, um, so it just helps to protect uh, colored hair. And lastly, there are a few CoverGirl products, and a lot of these I had actually already previously received um, because I attended this um, CoverGirl event back in July. I got a Smoochies, which is CoverGirl's 
new um, tinted lip balm and this one is in what shade is this in this one is in sweet tweet then I got two of the covergirl flamed out shadow pencils these are actually really lovely this like kind of burgundy reddish color number 310 this one is number 305 which is kind of like a white silver shade so next I got a mascara from covergirl this is their newest one I think it's their newest one it's called flamed out mascara this color that I received is in brown blaze this is the covergirl clean glow this is a bronzer so this is in spices I also received the covergirl clean whipped cream foundation and I guess that's it those are all of the goodies I received um, like I said I had such an amazing time I'm so excited to be part of this new program um, I guess what that means for you guys it doesn't really change much really um, it just means that I may get access to new products and that way I'll be able to review them for you guys before they launch um, but I mean other than that like nothing will really change in terms of how I disclose um, PR samples or anything like that. I mean, I'll always give full disclosure if products were sent to me, um, if I'm reviewing them, and um, I'll insert some photos at the end here. Some of the photos I took myself and some of them the professional photographer who was taking photos that night took, um, but they did send them out. And like I said, if you want to see that video with me and Amy from The Pretty Vein, I'll link that below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for sticking around this long and um, um, maybe stay tuned for a giveaway soon because um, a lot of these products I already have um, so someone might as well benefit from it. Okay, that's it for me. Have a wonderful day. Bye!